Yes, this is a person who's being accused of grooming, harassment, just mistreating minors and taking advantage of the power that they have on YouTube, and this is how they decide to respond. All aboard the toxic gossip train, chatting down the tracks of misinformation. This is a prime example of abuse of power and out of touch with reality a little bit. I feel like we're all in a Black Mirror episode. We're just watching things unfold, like what in the world is actually going on. Who would have known that a 30 year old is doing something like this where millions of people are witnessing you handle a situation so terribly. Like I have so much to say about this. If I was in a situation like this, Come on. let's stop. The situation is so messed up. It makes you question, is there a way to respond to this? Should there be a response to this publicly? Is there any right way to handle this in the face of the internet? I'm just gonna be honest. As everyone has seen this video right here. Toxic gossip train. You got one the toxic gossip train. That part is stuck in my head. Like, what in the world? What did you put in that drug? Oh, yes. That's what she put in that song. <laughs> did I just say what did you put in that drug? Don't mind me, y'all. It's jumbled up up here. Okay. Had this person been genuine or even taken accountability about what they've done four years ago to a minor? Let me highlight to a minor. Had they even learned anything that happened around that time when all this information just came out? This is what would have happened in that video. Driving down the tracks of misinformation. The first thing you would address is the truth. What you've done, what has already been proving to be a fact. You know what about this? A fact is anything that can be proven right or wrong. You admit what you've done wrong, point blank, period. It's not that difficult. Like, there's literally screenshots about this thing, y'all. Do you realize that there's real people involved in this? Like, you've altered the lives of people, children. You've manipulated people. There's evidence of that stuff. There's nothing. And I mean, like, I have nothing to be found. All the evidence is right there on the internet. Step two is take action. That's how the video would have gone. You would have taken action about your creepy behavior and you know identify that something is wrong that's what people do when they realize hey i have a pattern of disturbing behavior that i you know might have taken up from family friends my environment maybe it was the way how i was raised it could have even been trauma whatever it is i need to take action and change this behavior maybe it would have been therapy maybe it would have been taking some time away from the internet and interacting with the real people have you on the real people <laughs> And that would be to show that you're actually trying to change something about yourself because you recognize what you've done was wrong. I affected someone's life. Not just someone, but a child's life. At the dinosaur age of 30. Y'all, I'm 20 years old and I can't even imagine talking to someone 14 years old about my problems. Huh? Let alone try to ruin their lives and send swarms of hate towards this person. The whole thing is just mind-boggling, yo. And what in the world is going on? Step three, when you actually realize the consequences of your actions, then, maybe then, you reach out to the people you've affected, not pick up the ukulele and start singing that the toxic gossip train. At this point, she might as well hire me to be in her PR team because clearly the people around her is not. And I mean, not telling her the right thing or what she needs to hear. Meow. This is not a game. This is real life. Did you guys notice I'm not saying her name? Because everybody knows who we're talking about. You know, what does my opinion matter? Because clearly I'm not the one in this situation. I'm not the one who's been affected or have been in the group chats. You know, even a part of the fandom. To be honest, I feel like if Colleen really wanted to fix everything and make things happen and like have a change or something go on, she would have handled this behind closed doors. Like actually reach out to the victims. She would actually reach out to them and try to make things right. You would think that's what you would do once you recognize that I've taken accountability or whatever she said in that video. Because I changed my behavior and I took accountability. But you somehow just looked dead in the camera, pick up the ukulele and gaslit the they entire audience into trying to make it seem like, oh, it's not as big as it seems. I'm not going on this mission. Huh? What? Yo, that got to be one of the most unserious videos on YouTube. People are calling it an apology video when it's not even an apology video. It's just her singing and talking about how... Toxic gossip train. Time oh, 
Sorry. Um, it's a joke. It's a joke. At this point, it was say something after you realize what you've done or not say anything at all. Because at the end of the day, this is probably going to continue happening over and over and over and over. It makes me scared to have children knowing that they'd have access to people like this. It can literally be any one of us, bro. Girl, if you need me on your PR team, there's my Instagram, there's my YouTube, there's everything right here. I think we all understand that everyone makes mistakes. Everyone falls short. Some people make way worse mistakes than others. Like we can't all sit here and pretend like we're perfect. But there's clearly some things that should let you know that, damn, that was actually messed up. Messed up to the point where I think something is wrong with me. And sometimes there, there is something, something wrong with you. with you. And that's okay to admit because once you realize that something is wrong with you, that's the first course of action to seeking. I know I have a way of making things sound like, you know, it's not that serious, making it seem like it's a joke, but this is actually very serious. Like there's actual people that are being affected by this and there's probably gonna be even more people, more kids, more minors getting involved in situations like this with people who just wanna take advantage of them and manipulate them. And if I'm being honest, a video like the one Colleen just posted is actually and it just goes to show how unserious you can possibly be about this whole situation. Let me get this clear. I would never be in a situation like this. I don't even like talking to people my own age. Let me stop. I love y'all. <laughs> I love my friends. <laughs> if you guys see this video, I'm just I'm just clowning right now. Let alone thinking about talking to minors about my personal problem. But if I had to redo this video for her, this is how it would have went. Cut the cameras, touch grass, and seek help. Mind you, I have no hate or hold anything towards this person. I just really feel bad for the people affected. Like, imagine being at such a young age and have someone you look up to manipulate you, use you, and try to tear you down all at the early age of 17. I couldn't even handle someone talking bad about me to my face at 17. I couldn't handle confrontation at 17. From 14 to 17 years old, you had someone you look up to do this to you, just use you. That's a very terrible thing to do. And then the things, oh my gosh. If you guys want more information on this, you can go check out Adam's channel. I'll link down his video down below. At some point, Kali needs to take accountability. Yeah, and I can't think of anything clear to say whenever I have something to say and I'm just rambling like I'm rambling right now. That brings you to the end of this video. If you enjoyed this video, just like, comment, subscribe. subscribe. If you want to hear me run my mouth some more, like, come on now. The toxic I'm manipulating you. The toxic gossip train. Toxic gossip train. Tie me to the tracks and harass me for my past. These rumors look like facts. If you don't mind the gaps, I won't survive in the crash. But hey, at least you're happy.